All right. Uh, questions for coach? Opportunities with how they're defending. Uh, you know, I think Lopez is a favorable matchup for him because of how far back and drop he is. We know we can get specific shots uh, when we put him in certain actions. And, you know, either, either going to be for the handler coming off or him popping the wide open shots. And so uh, his activity was great as far as that. They switched some and he took advantage inside. But, um, you know, been consistent all year and really good in the playoffs. And so we need a big night from him. He's a, he's a guy who yeah, it helped everybody. Uh, obviously, with JB with the foul trouble, um, you know, Jason got him going a little bit there late. But Al, it's like it's like I said, we know we can get him a certain shot every time, and so uh, we've told him to be extremely aggressive. You know, five for seven tonight. He's got nine threes up throughout this series, and so he can get those looks whenever. And so it's good to have that outlet out there. And then, you know, starting to close out on him and play him differently like they play Grant. And he's getting downhill a little bit and getting other guys shots. And so we like to hide him in certain areas on the court, uh, spread out uh, Lopez some, and he's going to come pretty much help on all penetration. And Al's getting those wide-open looks in the corner. Hey, man, that's uh, more of a dunk than Anyata tied it up. Yeah, I think it did. I, I didn't see the follow through, whatever he did, but uh sounded like he cracked them pretty good. And it, like you said, energized the group. Um, you know, in general, like I said, he's been he's been great all year, but really need him to step up big with guys being out. Uh, JB in foul trouble, Rob missing this game. So he took that on his shoulders. Uh, like I said, he, he's, they're guarding him a certain way. He's able to attack and love the aggressiveness and extra from him. Yeah, but I think in general, we, we I mean, it's 43 to 28 fourth quarter. So we were getting stops and getting out and running, uh, trying to take advantage and play fast. And so uh, you could tell the group in general, uh, especially with JB out, was really playing good uh, with, with Derek and some of those guys. And more so than just Al, I think the whole group in general, we, we looked at the score down seven going into the fourth and said we haven't played that well at all, honestly. And let's have a big fourth quarter. And we did that. Yeah, you guys were kind of Getting some stops late and getting it back to seven. Uh, you know, being down one and a half, we had we didn't really play that well. And to your point, it got away a little bit. I think they got the eleven point lead in that quarter, but to get it to a manageable number, uh, seven going into the fourth, we felt pretty good about it. Um, being that we didn't play that well again throughout three quarters, we said just have one solid quarter. And you know, we're down seven. We got a whole game here to play, and let's really start to attack and get multiple penetrations. And I think we did that more so in the fourth quarter than throughout the first three. Yeah, he finally got in a good rhythm. Um, you know, I think possibly with JB being out and the ball in his hands a lot more, uh, he finally found a good rhythm. Uh, we found some actions that we liked for him. Um, and then some isolations where we don't always bring the screen and we feel he can beat his man. And so it uh, gave him a little bit more space to operate. He got downhill, got aggressive, and then started knocking down the threes. And so what he's been doing all year, took him a little time, a little bit to get going in this game, but um, finished off well in the fourth, obviously, especially with JB being out. It's another game where they looked pretty fast in the fourth quarter. You guys made a big comeback there. How much of your, just, I guess, offensive game plan, even just throughout the night, was trying to wear them down a little bit, make them help and recover? Yeah, I think it, it goes both ways. With uh, We obviously did it in the First series against Brooklyn, we wanted to put Durant, Irving, certain guys in actions, their main, main scores. And they've done that somewhat to us as well. Uh, put JT in the certain actions, uh, JB, but we like to do the same thing and not just let Giannis and those guys roam the weak side. We want to put them in actions, make them guard, and uh, cumulative effect for sure. Uh, they're doing a lot, you know, getting 32 shots up and playing 41 minutes it takes a toll on you alone, but we want to put them in actions to make them work and not let them rest on the defensive end. Yeah, we're back into, uh, find the right kind of insert, reinsert, Jalen Brown. A little bit of flow. We kept monitoring the score. We obviously got back in it, got the lead, uh, and you know kept it close so we could buy him a few more minutes. Um, he was begging to come in basically 10, 8, 7 every other minute. And we, you know, obviously with a three-point lead, we can buy some more time, and that unit was playing well. So 
Uh, didn't want to put him back in too early with five. Uh, had a good rhythm going with the guys, but knew we'd bring him back to finish. And so the fact that we played so well without him obviously bought him those extra minutes. You talk about the way that got now. Is that something you noticed at the end of the game? No, it's all series. I mean, they're guarding them a specific, specific way. Um, anytime you have Lopez that far back in the drop, we can literally run a pick and pop anytime we want and get a wide open three at least. And so understanding that he gets in the rhythm, we try to get him downhill a little bit, give him some different looks. And then when you see him going a little bit, we obviously have multiple sets that we can get JT or JB downhill against Lopez and always have that outlet to throw back to. You know, how much the luck do you have in terms of the way you work to a lot? Yeah, he's been a calming influence throughout the whole year. Uh, you know, a veteran who's been there, done that on a lot of uh, playoff teams that have got really far, made really big runs. And so, you know, he is a veteran of our group and uh, has done that all year. So uh, we know he's been great throughout training camp early in the season. He's carried that into the playoffs. and almost took another step in the playoffs. So, you know, guys out, Rob, you know, guys in foul trouble. He was called upon to score a little bit more tonight, but um, he's always the most vocal guy. Every time I come to the timeout, he's kind of giving instruction and settling everybody down. Al sat here a couple nights ago. He was pretty pissed off. Have you ever seen that kind of intensity from him? Did you see after that game that maybe, because he's not somebody that's going to come out here and score this kind of, you know, put up, put the, together these kind of nights. He doesn't have back to back games in a row. Did you see something different in him in the past couple of days? I was, I mean, I would say overall, we were all pretty pissed about the way we lost that last game. So, uh, kind of consensus with the team. But um, in general, I think he takes what the game gives him. And we understand it's a favorable matchup the way they're defending him and the attention they're paying to others. And so, it's a series for him to be extra aggressive um, on some of those kickouts. He knows he can drive those guys. You know, big emphasis is driving their closeouts when the bigs come out on him. And so he's making the right read, taking the right shot. And um, I wouldn't say anymore, you know, he was not trying to score anymore. We just understand how we can get him shots and he can be a big uh, time scoring factor in the series. Derek, it was good. It was especially, you know, we needed that with Jalen out. Um, him and Peyton and that unit stepped up to play well. And like I said, it bought us more minutes, but, um, you know, they, they have Holiday and, and Matthews, their main defenders on some of our main guys. And so Derek and other guys are going to have some favorable matchups that we like to attack at times. And as I've said all along, it's not only the scoring that uh, stands out with what he does, it's him getting into the paint, making the right play. And if he has a favorable matchup, he can get downhill and get to his floater or pull up. And so uh, he took some of those easy shots tonight and really obviously helped us in the third and fourth quarter. Final question, Raymond. You, know, you guys shot, I think, 84% in the fourth Have you seen right. a lot of basketball? Have you seen a player or you know, a coach just like a performance like that? Yeah, I mean, you get on your hot streaks, and um, a lot of them were great looks, wide open shots. Um, we talked about multiple paint touches, and you know, their defense will dissipate, and we got those wide open looks. Um, you know, the other piece was getting stops and getting out and running in transition. We got some easy baskets as well. So uh, you could tell, to, I'm not sure who said it, someone, someone's point where they started to fade a little bit, and we wanted to push the tempo. and then make them work in the half court. And so that was the time we really increased uh, touching the paint as much as we could, getting favorable matchups, but having them in scramble mode got us a lot of wide open shots. In that series in front shot, you guys were trying to find a guard to target and kind of go bully ball. Tonight, Peyton left George Hill. What did you want to go to tonight? How hard has it been just throughout the series to find some sort of mismatch? Yeah, I think Jay, Jay had it going different ways. And um, we know the guys that switch with their team and the guys that hedge and they try to keep off. And George, the guy that's in the Matthews holiday uh, group, that they'll switch everything. I played with George as a rookie in San Antonio, so I know a little bit about George and try to take advantage of that. Thank you, Ian. That's my guy, though. <laughs>